Hello there, Scorpio. Michelle B. here. I'm going to look at your love messages for Mercury Retrograde this month. And I'm going to look at some advice to go forward with all of that. So stay tuned. We'll get started. Okie dokie, Scorpio. Here I am bringing you your love messages on Memorial Day, Memorial Day, Monday, um, parked in my lovely Charlie Bird, my, 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 my camper truck, um, Bellingham, Washington at the marina. So lots, the sea breeze is blowing in, even though the sun is shining really bright on my, <laughs> my windshield. This, the, the sea breeze is blowing in the window and you'll be able to see people walking to and from the marina it's just a beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful morning. It's nine o'clock in the morning. And here we go. Let's find out what your messages are. I don't want to go on and on. Da -da 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 -da. Yep, there we go. Whoop. I have to go hunt, hunt that card down. There's two of them. Let's see. Two cards. Ooh. You know, the High Priestess has been coming up a lot because um, when Mercury goes into retrograde, the logic becomes suppressed. Mm -hmm. And the intuition is able to it's like comes out. The intuition's always there, but the logic gets suppressed during the during this time, so that you can hear the intuition more clearly. And there's a voice that's saying it's time to make. It's time for a, a transition, a 2.0. That's what the death is all about. It's about the death of one one thing and the rebirth of another. And you're like you're in, even though like it doesn't make sense to you on a in the in a logical way you know that it's something that needs to happen so you're like okay let me get one more clarifier about this because it's like it's all coming through in these vague terms it could have something to do with with the 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 economic aspect of your relationship if you're in some kind of committed relationship where you're sharing resources but it, it really has to do with not wanting to become vulnerable I, I, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing that, that you would like to either take this relationship to the next level or give it up, right? If this, if this, you're like, if this relationship is not going to get better, then I would, I would, I would let it go. I would sacrifice it. But here's the thing though, you're, the level of vulnerability that you're getting from the person that you're with is a reflection of the level of vulnerability that you're willing to put out there. So I'm getting that um, it's just as much your fault that there's no vulnerability in this relationship as it is theirs. They're reflecting what they see from you. I see that you two have fun together. I see that you two really care about each other. But both of you we're attracted to each other because you have the same level of fear of commitment, a fear of um, letting down your guard. Fear, 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 fear. When the situation calls for courage, courage, courage. So you're being asked to give it a little bit more time and give it a little bit more courage. All right. So. It's a matter of you taking little little baby steps to display who you are and what you would like to have. Because if, so far, the two of you have, haven't even talked about future plans possibly together. If you haven't done that yet, that's, that's the, the sense that I'm getting, then, then maybe you could like bring that up. <laughs> maybe start mentioning it. Like, see, you can't, you can't, that, that magician being in reverse there, you can't manifest something, you can't create something unless you allow yourself to be the conduit for the spirit, right? So it's a matter of taking inspired action. And if your inspired action is to be like, this is the right moment and drop the fear, inhale the love of the universe and exhale the fear that something terrible could happen to you if you show your feelings, if you show your underbelly, right? release that and just be like hey so you know I just wanted to bring this up to you 
where do you think this is going? Do you think that there's a chance that we could like have something more later and see how they react? Give them a little bit of time to have their reaction, whatever it is. They might be like their, their first reaction, the, int the intuitive download that I'm getting is their first reaction off the cuff may not be their reaction once they have had a chance to let it settle in. Okay, they've gotten accustomed to to putting up their guard and, and uh, not allowing themselves to be open, right? So their first re if their first reaction is to just kind of blow it off and be like, I don't know, then don't take that too seriously. Give it just a little bit more time before you make your decision. But now I'm going to ask the cards real quick, what about if they say very clearly, I'm not interested in something more, okay? I like things exactly the way they are right now, even though you're not happy. If they make it very clear and it's not changing. Because if they're, if they're wishy-washy at first, you want to give them a little bit more, just a little bit more time, okay? But if they're just straight up right off the bat, don't give it any more time. Because you already know. You already got your answer, okay? And I got these, these cards came up for if you hold out, and let yourself just keep doing the same stuff. Don't let down your guard. The longer term, you know, like you might stick your toe in the water a little bit, but then pull back, you know. The longer term um, story is like just a lot of dissatisfaction and unhappiness, okay? Lots of instability, like times of bickering, times when they're like, when, when their reflection from you is, um, because you didn't push it, you didn't say, this is really what I'd like, where I'd like to be in the long run. Their reflection is, is like, well, I guess they're not committed, so I'm just going to go do this over here. Okay. So whatever it is that you want, you have to be like, this is really what I want. And give them some time to get used to it or not get used to it and just go, right? Okay, so those are your messages. Thank you for being with me, Scorpio. Every Saturday, I post weekly weekly tarot readings, like messages for your whole week with a meditation to bring it all together. I've already posted your June monthly messages. Just subscribe and check out my channel, and I will see you over there. Love you. See you later.